Sheena, who lost her hair during her chemotherapy, will now show you some of the different types of headwear. Hello, Sheena. Hello. Um, I wore wigs, um, as well as lots of alternatives. There are many different alternatives to wigs. The stretchy tube is simple, easy and quick to put on. It's comfortable, light and breathable. Um, there are no uncomfortable seams and it's easy to wash. They come in lots and lots of different colours, um, which is really nice so you can match different outfits very easily. Mm -hmm. You can get them from lots of different um, high street stores, which is, is very useful. I used to keep one of these by my front door, so if anybody rang on the doorbell and I didn't have my wig on or didn't have um, a headscarf on, I could just pick this up very quickly and just pop it on. It's important just to make sure that you adjust it so that it f follows your natural hairline. And then that was it, it was ready to go and answer the door. If I then wanted to go out, I could then just tuck it in at the back. And if I wanted to, I could just put an ordinary outdoor hat on top. And that would be me ready to go. The other nice thing about that is that if you perhaps were out and somebody invites you in for a coffee, you don't want to go in wearing a, an outdoor hat, you can just slip the outdoor hat off, make sure you hold your fingers to keep it in place. And you've got head covering. Depending on the shape of your face, you might want to create a bit more width. And one of the ways to do that is to add another of these stretchy tubes on top. They're quite versatile. And actually just pop it on. Very simple. You can do a little bit of adjusting if you want to. And then it's created a little bit more width. If you want to create more height, if you just untuck the back bit, you can just rearrange it and tuck the front part under there and that creates a little bit more height. The other thing you can do is add different scarves and accessories. Um, you could even take, you know, this, this would be quite a good scarf, you can just wrap it around and it gives you just a quite a nice elegant look. So you can, you can change it to what, whatever suits your, your personality, your wardrobe, what you're doing. The other important thing if you're talking about scarves is looking at the size um, and texture of what they are. This one's a bit too small, it's that sort of size. It won't provide enough coverage, so when you tie it, you'll find that you've got sort of gaps and it won't be a, a good size. The sort of size you're looking for is this sort of one. You can see it's quite big, and that's the sort of ideal size of headscarf. This is cotton, so it's got a little bit of grip. It's not gonna slide, because yes. the problem is, this is a really beautiful scarf, but this is silk. The trouble when, with silk is that if you tie it, you think it's secure, it tends to slip. So it's much better to choose a fabric with just that little bit of grip. If you want to tie headscarves, it's important to start with something quite simple. You don't want to start with anything too complicated. You form it into a triangle first. If you create a little s turnover, it gives you a little bit more height which is quite nice because what you're trying to recreate is that sort of volume around your face mm. and that's what the sort of scarves and the tubes um, do. And then it goes round the back and use one of these um, stretchy bands but without any metal because otherwise it might catch your, your headscarf and, and ruin the fabric. Treat it a bit like tying a ponytail, double the elastic over and you can pull out as much of the fabric as, as you like at the back. And again, with all these scarves, the other thing you can do, of course, is accessorise them. So we could choose something perhaps to just um, add a little bit of extra. I mean, this would, this would work. You could add an extra to put this one again. And again, you can either tie bows, you can wrap the ends in, whatever you um, feel comfortable doing. If you just lose the ends behind, so the other thing you can think about is perhaps putting a nice summer hat on top. And again, you've got the layer underneath, so if you, you want to stop anywhere, you can take the hat off, but you can just add another, but quite an elegant, elegant look. So, and also, the other thing, it's quite important sometimes to avoid the sun, and this provides you with, with a nice shade over your face. The other option are these crinkle cotton ones. Now, these are quite nice, they're quite long, and because it's crinkle cotton, it will grip quite nicely. So again, what you're doing is offsetting this. So we've got one end longer than the other. Right, if you just scrumple the ends, cross them over at the back, and then that secured it. And if you give it a little bit of a twist, go over the top, 
and then secure it. If you can try and tie a reef knot at the side it gives a flatter knot which is a nicer look. And then you can do, you can either leave the tails loose or you can create a bow and again you can lose the ends. We'll wrap the one round the back there. I mean they do these in, in a wide range of different um, colours, mm. designs, so if you're trying to sort of coordinate an outfit it's quite easy to find something that will um, actually work for that. If you want to go for hats one of the things you might need to do is, is measure your head to get your hat size. It's a very simple way of measuring. You just need to take the tape measure, middle of the forehead, round the back, and there's a little bump on the back of your head. You're measuring over that little bump. And then you just take the measurement. And mine is 55. I think 55, 56 is about a standard size. That's centimetres. Um, and I think in, in old money, it's about 21, 21 and a half inches. <laughs> High Street would tend to sell them as standard sort of sizes, so if you have a smaller head or a larger head, you might need to, to look elsewhere. If it's too big, you'll tend to look swamped in it. If it's too small, you'll feel it's quite insecure and you'll, you'll feel like it's, it's slipping off all the time. So it is important to get the right sort of size. Something like this would be good because you're looking at something that provides enough coverage. So you need to have something that is going to cover to the sides and also down to the nape of the neck. And you can see here it's got quite pretty detail on this one. Um, and another one, I quite like this one, this is another um, nice breathable fabric, no sort of seams to, to be uncomfortable. And again you can see it's got quite a nice sort of detail to the side. I mean whatever you choose to wear, remember you can experiment with different colours and patterns depending on your outfit and what you'll be doing that particular day.